3, 2, 1, top, décollage. Our set 5 is a cube set that is built by students at the Aalborg University that is capable of tracking AIS signals coming from ships. Originally it was maritime authorities in Denmark that asked us if it was possible to do this kind of tracking from space and that resulted in our set 3. And then we made the our set 4 satellite as part of ESA's flyer satellite program. And uh, then, in uh, regards of the Andreas Mogensen mission to the ISS, we were offered to build the uh, AUSAT-5 satellite and uh, have it launched from the International Space Station. ISTAR-2 is uh, uh, the second satellite of a family of CubeSats that we are developing at Politecnico di Torino. Uh, our first satellite, ISTAR-1, uh, has been launched uh, in 2012 and uh, we are really very um, proud to be uh, in this project, Fly Your Satellite, this cool project from uh, the European Space Agency that uh, allows students to practice uh, and to have experience, a really valuable experience on uh, satellites and the mission development in general. Here is OFT1, it's the CubeSat we designed at the University of Liège and uh, its main mission is uh, D-Star Repeater the star is a radio protocol uh, which is digital and thus allow to transmit data uh, and voice. With Fly Your Satellite, this education office engages in supporting university students which are developing their own CubeSat. The students that participate in the program must fulfill eligibility requirements which essentially consist in the fact that they must be national from an ISA member state and they must be formally enrolled in university studies either at bachelor or master or PhD level. The program facilitates a transfer of uh, know-how, expertise and also of practical experience from professional specialists to the students. Uh, and the students uh, get acquainted to adopting uh, the standard good practice which usually is adopted uh, in ESA space programs.